Let's shift attention now to agribusiness and poultry farming in, in Kenya is one of the widely practiced farming activities because it just requires a small space and little capital to start. But now a farmer in Chuka, Tharakanithi County, has taken poultry farming to another new level with ornamental bird farming. Philip Kitani has the details. Sephra Farm and Ornamental Poultry Farm in Chuka, Tharaka, Nithi County is setting new records as the first ornamental bird farm in the region with a variety of beautiful exotic birds on display. Indeed, these birds are a sight to behold with their beautiful colored feathers and their attractive display which has led to a high number of tourists, both local and foreign, flocking into the farm. The idea came up from uh, one of us who started the idea since he was young and decided to bring it into being. The poultry, most of which have not been seen before, wear feathers of different shapes, sizes and color and are not shy to show them off. The farm has over 500 poultry birds located one kilometer opposite Chuka University along the Chuka Mill Road. Sephra farm manager Barney Swamboy says the birds at the two-acre facility are not primarily for meat, but for educational purposes. If you come into this business with, uh, with money being the first priority, then you are wrong. You are in the wrong place. When we started off, the community was not so friendly with the fact that, uh, you know, we are bringing in... In fact, they thought we are bringing in uh, funny things like snakes, uh, some of them would not even come in. The farm being an eco-tourism facility is also a home to crocodiles. Among the ornamental birds on the farm include Jersey Giant, American Peking Duck, Roan, Cayuga Duck, Orland Goose, Failtail Pigeon, and the Vulture in Guinea Fall. Most of the birds in the farm are sourced from abroad in countries like China and the United States of America. I would not advise a farmer to start such a business without purpose and uh, passion. Those are two things that you should incorporate in the whole idea. If you want to start up, start up with purpose and passion for the same. Although the birds in the farm are primarily for ornamental purposes, some of the bird eggs are sold to local farmers. The farm also trained farmers in Tharaka, Nithi, Meru and other counties on how to keep ornamental birds as a way of boosting their conservation efforts because some of these birds are endangered species. The farm boasts of several bird species, each with distinct characteristic and nutritional value. We only charge 200 shillings for grown-ups to come and view the place and learn. The, for the kids, we charge, we charge them 100 per head. Um, we have different packages for schools and other groups of farmers and um, church groups and all that. For the church groups, uh, we do not charge the hall because they come and occupy the hall. Um, we charge them for the viewing fee alone. The farm sells the eggs with a fertilized egg going for 500 shillings apiece, while unfertilized retail for 50 shillings. The farm supplies farmers with fertilized eggs after training them. They also visit these farmers to ensure that they are feeding and handling them properly. Philip K. Tang, KTN News.